everyone, uh, Tackle Rally Art here. Uh, so on top of making boat content, I also wanted to get into paddleboard fishing. And if you're looking to get into paddleboards, you find out very quickly that they're just insanely expensive. Um, you know, they, they good ones really start out at about 500 bucks. I wanted to spend nowhere near that so i got a cheap cheap paddle board off amazon i thought it was a pretty good quality one i just made a, a pseudo paddle board kayak rig for it and i'm just gonna be kind of showcasing that for you guys uh today and uh, i'm gonna be testing it on the water and just you know giving my impressions on it be providing a link and I'll be showing you the picture on screen of all the items that I've purchased and I'll give you a breakdown at the end as to how much it cost me uh, just so that if you wanted to sort of uh, emulate any of these items you know they can probably help you out in finding out where to get them because I did have to go to you know a few different places at least four to five different stores to kind of finish everything off Okay, so the first few things that you'll notice are the uh, milk crate, even though it's not actually a milk crate. Uh, it's actually a Sterilite tote organizer from Walmart. Uh, you'll also notice the Rubbermaid uh, Deluxe Cup Organizer here. I got this one from Advance Auto Parts. I got this one from Walmart. Uh, you'll notice the cutting board here uh, is connected to a lanyard sort of uh i got this from bass pro uh packs of two uh and uh yeah it's a lanyard two pack with the milk crate and the this the cup car organizer so i can have something to drink while i'm fishing and also put some of my materials there also the reason why i got a tote organizer as opposed to a milk crate like everybody else is that my cooler was not gonna fit um the milk crate so i had to get something just a little bit bigger this is a few inches wider uh so that's why i had to go with it okay so this is the cooler with the two rod holders and the plano uh 3400 i believe uh tackle box that i just have velcroed on you know for easy access when i open the hatch and whatnot uh these are ozark trail uh single use like rod holders so I just, they came with the screws, so I just screwed them on there. Uh, the Coleman cooler I got for free, so I can't really put a price on that. But I did see similar coolers selling for around 15 to 20 bucks at Walmart. So you shouldn't really have a problem finding that. And this is it situated on the, on the crate itself. As you can see, I have plenty of room still for the knife that I'll show you in a minute, and the, uh, the cutting board. Um, and I'll move on to the other items now. So the last few items to kind of finish off the build, uh, I, I got a set of sheathed scissors from Bass Pro. Um, I like them because it had that sheath there so I don't have to worry about it getting punctured and also, you know, connected to the lanyard. Um, I got a Rapala fillet knife that I'll be using to cut up the bait as well connected to a lanyard. Um, this is a really good knife. I highly recommend this. I have the Vigor version of this as well. And you, as you can see, it fits right there. And uh, a multi-tool, just because 
I mean, you really do need a multi-tool out on the water just to see what happens. Uh, and this last thing is really, it's up to you, whatever you wanna do, but it was the reason why I got the cup storage organizer here. Uh, basically just got like a, a koozie or whatever to just put some water in so that, you know, when I'm out on the water, I'm not so thirsty and, you know, I can just get some water while I'm just fishing for a little bit. And this is the setup pretty much with the two rods already in place. Um, like I said, I, I just wanted to get out there on the canals and pretty close to the shore, just relatively affordable. Uh, I know it can get quite expensive to do this. I mean, I have a boat, so, you know, whenever I want to fish, I could just fish on my boat. So I wanted to do this for places where my Mako skiff, my 17 foot skiff couldn't, couldn't get to. So, um, the next video I'll probably be just reviewing it, how it is on the water and, you know, see how it is. Part of the reason also why I wanted to do this is I, I took up canal fishing here in the Pembroke Pines area, South Broward area for the first time. And I started catching some pretty big chunkers. Uh, I, I believe they were Mayan cichlids. Uh, I know you can also catch, uh, peacock bass. I don't do a lot of freshwater fishing. It's mostly salt. So I just kind of wanted to learn. And I kind of feel that if I'm not going to be fishing from a canal, maybe like a little small lake, I can kind of use this as well. So I hope this setup works well for me. And as you can see, it really didn't cost me much. Um, I'll be, I'll be testing it on the water now. So this is the little canal area by my house where I'm going to be testing out the paddle board with the fishing equipment. It's going to be just a quick test, more for stability. Uh, I'm going to see if I can actually even get up on the paddle board. I might just have to sit on it because I don't think I have the balance to really get up on it yet. Uh, I can probably build my way up to it. Uh, so I'm going to be setting it up and just do a quick, you know, little run around here just to see how stable it is, how it feels, how I like it. Okay, so I'm starting to get it set it up here by the little lake or whatnot by my apartment. I already got the cake. I already got the storage container set up. I'm gonna put the fins on, the rest of the equipment, and then I'll be out on the water. have it floating away from me before I even heard it. Okay. So how the hell do I ride this? 
is it like this? Okay. Let's see how stable it is. Pick it up. I'm gonna write a sentence down. Uh, so far, the stability is pretty good. I think the issue just lies more with me. It certainly moving at an all right pace like I don't feel any strain or anything certainly certainly stable board I'm gonna keep riding it here and just maybe pick up a few pointers since it is the first time that I'm doing it I think I'm gonna change my position here. I'm gonna be sitting down mostly for this one, but I'm gonna change my position to that of, hey, it certainly goes really fast. I'm actually surprised on calm conditions how fast it goes. Let me just dock up here. Change my position. Okay. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I can certainly fish like this. Oh, yeah. Back looks okay. I definitely can't get up. I'm not fooling myself on that. I do not have the balance yet to get up. You did really good paddleboard. I am really impressed. You did really awesome. Nah, you did really, really good. So the paddleboard test run was just an absolute success. Paddleboard was very stable. Uh, I definitely can't stand up on it yet, but I think I got a good little balance on it. The setup, uh, did not weigh me down at all. In fact, this setup only weighs 14 pounds total. And the paddleboard is rated for way more than that and way more than me. And I'm about 220 and then this is only 14 and it it definitely can move the weight along. It's, um, there aren't any leaks in the paddleboard. Um, I definitely, you know, it just, it runs smooth. I definitely would recommend it. I'm gonna leave the link for the paddleboard and the price where you can get it on Amazon. Um, I had absolutely no issues. I can see this being a pretty good alternative to some 
getting into the flat areas and that people normally can't get to even with skips and just maybe uh, bending a rod or two. Mm -hmm.